This is Apostle Praise. Please do not forget to like our messages, to share our messages so that the gospel goes to the four corners of the earth and also to hit the bell so that um, you don't miss any message that comes from this channel because we are here for prayer. You are on the ground of prayer and if you are serious about learning how to pray, to making effective prayers. I'm not saying you are just making prayers, just, just, just moving around and making a prayer, but to make prayers that will shake the kingdom of darkness, you are in the right channel. So today I am I'm coming then with a new teaching, all right? This is a teaching which is about the cell phones. Why is it important for us? to dedicate our cell phones to the Lord. Why is it important for us to dedicate any technological device that you have? That is about communications. Very important that you dedicate it to the Lord and how to go about doing that. All right. So this week I received my, my new cell phone. I've got a new cell phone that the Lord blessed me with. So then I started then to do what I usually do whenever I have something that is an addition um, to my storehouse. I dedicate it to the Lord. And the reason for that it is because I, I, I am not God. I am not the protector of anything, all right? And I, I am not like God. As the Bible says that God neither slumber nor sleep. So he's always there. He's all present. So and he's also our provider. So it's very important that, that you dedicate. And if you have not received any message about de about dedication, it's here, it's here in the channel. Just just go there. It talks about the blood. So listen to those messages. Um, that talk about blood because that's where then the prayer of dedication, dedicating your house to the Lord that you will find. Today we are dedicating a cell phone, all right? And uh, the reason that uh, we should be dedicating a cell phone um, uh, to the Lord is because the enemy uses cell phones, all right? The monitoring spirits are using the cell phones, are using the screen, anything that's got a screen. Your, your, your monitor, the monitor of your, of your laptop, uh, they use it. And, and sometimes you have a dream where you see yourself on that screen. When that happens, you must know that there's a monitoring spirit. You are being monitored somewhere. It might be in a coven somewhere. It might be at a particular altar somewhere. There's somebody who's watching your movement. And sometimes you will see somebody who's holding the binoculars. And when you see that, you must know that you are being monitored. And somebody will see somebody who's holding a cell phone like this, you know, in front of you in a dream, holding a cell phone, and is recording you, that person. So it is the monitoring spirits. It's, it, they, Satan is in a business of collecting information. Why? It is because he knows the power of the word, because information is about the word. And secondly, he also, he is also, he, he is not like God, he's not all present. So he uses, he plants his agents everywhere, everywhere. They are busy gathering information about us because they want to know as to how the Holy Spirit is using us. And also they know that information is power. If you want to bring any person down, you need to collect information about that person, all right? Particularly in the area that you are targeting, all right? I'm talking now about, in, you know, when I'm saying person, I'm talking about in areas of sports and so on, If in area of boxing, if you are going to be getting into your boxing ring, you need to know how your opponent operates all right how he throws the punches and so on then you need to learn that's information you are collecting information when you are doing that and it's called wisdom and that is what as people of god we need to do because satan is collecting information about us when you are attacked in the dream all right 
that attack did not start on that day. There was a there was something that preceded that attack, which was planning, proper planning, collection of the information about you, looking into your daily schedule. When do you pray? When do you fast? What are your weaknesses? What are your strengths? Where, where, where are the gateways that are in your bloodline? All right. Where can we hit this person? So they study. They go to the information that is also that is carried by the ancestral spirits. Because ancestral spirits are the data sources of everything that happens in the bloodline. They also then go to the to the to them to the archives. The archives of Satan that are kept in the second heaven and check there all the information about the target. All right. So information is very important. And and and, and information, when you talk about information, that's it's it's the weight. All right. It's the weight. That's the prime reason as why information is important is because it's all about the weight. The Bible says that in the beginning was the weight and the weight was with God and the word was God. All right. So any creation that was done in the beginning of time, it was done through the word. And the Holy Spirit then, the Holy Spirit was there as 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 the as the as an as an actioning, actioning, actioning power. All right, was there then to action the power that is in the weight. All right, as we know in the beginning, the Lord said that as the God the Planner, He said that let there be light. And there was light, all right? And it was the Holy Spirit that moved and, and, and on, on, on where there was darkness, where, on the deep where there was darkness. The Bible says that he moved there where the problem was, all right? Because he was settling himself there to ensure that when the word is released, that light then is there to bring the light to pass, all right? So we operate then with the anointing of the Holy Spirit to, to, to action the weight. The actioning power is the anointing that comes from the Holy Spirit. All right. Now, let's get to what the Lord has, has brought us here for. Listen now. The phone uses, uses the radio waves to communicate. All right. And the phone then, and, and, and the radio waves then, they carry the information. They carry the digitized voice, all right, as you are talking. And, and they carry that information in the air. They carry it in the air at the speed of light, all right? So if you are listening to what I'm saying, all right, I have already released the three elements. Whenever you, you are dedicating something, first thing that is important is for you to know that for what purpose is this object that I will be dedicating to the Lord, all right? What is the assignment of this, of this object, of this thing, of this item? doesn't matter what, that you are dedicating to the Lord. Because the, the assignment of the enemy is to use the purpose, the assignment of the object and twist it for himself. Use it for himself, all right? So the phony then, its purpose is to communicate, releasing the weight, all right? And, 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 and so, and, and as I said that, we are the words that we eat. So information is about, it's, if, I, if I give you information, is a set of words, all right, that are really sing a particular message, all right? So then, um, so the words then, they carry that power, all right? As the Bible here says in the book of First Corinthians, Chapter 10, verse 31, it says, Where therefore you eat or drink or whatsoever you do, do all 
to the glory of the Lord. To paraphrase it, it says that whatsoever, whatsoever you eat, whatsoever you drink, whatsoever you do, it must be for the glory of the Lord. All right. So then the words that are communicated to us are communicated to us in true True eyes, that is their visual words, and we are also getting them the auditory information, all right, that we are listening to. And sometimes it is things that we see being demonstrated to us. And it's all of that, it is all about food, all right? Words are food, all right? So, because our spirit man, if we don't feed our spirit man with the right food, then our spirit man gets delinked from the spirit of the living God because our spirit man is strengthened by the spirit of the living God. And the spirit of the living God then operates where there is the word of God because he is the spirit of the weight, all right? So then for me to have that connection so that I'm able then to download the spiritual things from the spirit of the living God that will strengthen my spirit man so that when I get in the spiritual realm, in the battlefield, I'm strengthened and my spiritual eyes are open, my spiritual ears are open, my spiritual teeth are sharpened, all right? And in all of that, it is because my spirit man is connected to the spirit of the living God. So then it is getting then, it is getting that water, it is drinking then from the well of the spirit of the living God and getting strengthened, all right? So we 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 have then to drink from the spirit of the living God. We also have to feed our soul man, all right? And when I talk about the soul, I'm talking about your mind, I'm talking about your will, I'm talking about your emotions, all of that combined, that's your soul. And your soul then needs to be fed. It needs to be fed with the word of God so that it is strengthened. And anything that you do with your physical body it started in the spirit all right it was determined by the spirit the navigation of that gets to what you are to do that process started in the spirit the guiding guiding device if i can put it that way all right is your spirit man all right so whatever that i see myself doing today that is a sin all right the door was open in my spirit man all right so it is my spirit man then that allowed my soul man to make my physical man to sin all right so then it's very important therefore that that we we we, we put a lot of focus on the word so now the bible says here in the book of proverbs chapter 23 verse 7 it says that as a man thinketh in his heart so is he this is what king solomon says all right so so we are the words that we eat all right we are the words that are in our minds so so whatever that is in my mind will determine what will come out of my lips and what comes out of my lips will determine what i will be doing it navigates my actions all right so words then are there to shape our belief system all right Words are there to navigate our actions and words are there to create our world, all right? So that's the reason that Satan then is targeting cell phones because cell phones are about the communication of the word, are about the communication of information and that information he sends it to defile our spirit man and feed our soul with poison so that we become weak in the spirit and begin to be then his victims, all right? And, and so he, he, that's, that's the reason there for that. It's very important that 
you know how why you should be dedicating yourself for now i'm going back then to those elements all right where i said that then you have that is your your cell phone device it uses then the radio waves to communicate and the radio waves then they carry your digitized voice and the information they carry that information in the air all right and then and then the light then is there to ensure that that information moves at a speed all right so then then phone is used for communication wait all right so i'm preparing now to dedicate that's very important that you know what is it what is this object gonna be used for is used for information then secondly this how is it used all right it's used for information how is it used so now phone radio waves all right so when i'm talking about the radio waves a so what it means is that now communication i'm dealing with the monitoring spirits because the monitoring spirit are the agents that collect information for satan because satan is not all present as God is, all right? So he uses his agents and the demons to collect information. So he's got the, the following spirits, all right? And the tailing spirits is also having them and the monitoring spirits, okay? And also the guardian spirits. We will talk about the guardian spirits. It's a, it's a, it's a topic for another day as what it is the assignment of the guardian spirits and so on, all right? So communication or oh, monitoring spirits already there. Or oh, communication or oh, let me go then to the data sources that Satan uses then ancestral spirits they are the ones who are gathering information in your bloodline all right then i'm talking now about then the second heaven where the information is stored up all right so then i need then i'm writing then i'm writing on the paper what i'm going to be dealing with all right communication then i mention all these that i've just mentioned then now secondly airwaves then then i mean the, the the radio waves then what it means is that i'm dealing with the spirits of the air and the assignment of the spirits of the air is to stop communication from coming to me all right good communication from coming to me really seeing evil communication to me so as to harm my spirit man harm my soul my emotions all right all that information that will bring you down and make you miserable is communicated by satan all that information pornography that is that is in the social media and so on define my spirit man and then mess up my mind all right so and, and and take away the mind of christ from me and have then satan then controlling my mind using the cell phone all right and also the visuals that i see that are also then in the camera the videos that are in the cell phone all right so then um moving them further then you have which is the third thing which is light all right so i write light then so what it means is then then the enemy then for him to bring that information with a speed he uses light so i'm writing then the third element is light those are the things that i need to focus on as i'm gonna be dedicating myself on all right so then where is the cell phone being manufactured Bring now the fourth element. So technology, all the technology, I mean, most of the technological devices that we have are created, manufactured by Satan under waters. That's an open secret, all right? And if you are getting this from me for the first time, check from our channel, all right? There's a, there's a message there of, of the... Uh, is a is a is a confession of an ex satanist who's talking about them manufacturing cars under waters manufacturing um, makeup and using then um, the powdered bones of dead people sending them into the ocean and then coming back 
uh, to us being the eye the eye shadows the makeup that we are using and so on but all manufactured underwaters listen to that message all right so a lot of stuff technology is is manufactured underwaters i'm saying a lot of it i'm not saying that all of it all right so then 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 it makes me then to have four elements that i have to focus on so i'm focusing first on communication the monitoring spirits all right i'm focusing secondly then um on the air all right the spirits of the air as i have said that the spirits of the air are there then to affect to affect our dignity our identity to affect the information that comes to us and the information about us all right you might be waiting for for a letter a letter of 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 a, of a business that is supposed to be to be giving you an opportunity to do something that can be stopped in by the spirits of the air when Satan says that it must not happen, it's the spirits of the air that jump first because it's all about communication. Then you wait and wait and wait and wait. Does not come. All right? It is the spirits of the air also that also move away our divine helpers. People who are supposed to be helping us, they stop them, they are root from coming to us. It is the spirit of the air because the spirit of the air are after defiling your name, defiling your identity. They are after name you, you know, in things that you are supposed to be doing, all right? Taking away your time. They, they, they steal time in the spirits of the air, all right? So that's why then they are all connected with the cell phone they are operating you know using the cell phone and, and and then i mentioned then the third element which is the light all right and then also the waters all right spread of the waters where then these cell phones many of them that we're using are many are manufactured for are the spirits then they are the spirits that bring us sexual immorality. If you look at the phone, the phone is, is, is infested by, by pornography, as I have already said. That is sexual immorality, nudity and all that. They are all. Those videos, we get them. You get into the YouTube using your cell phone. It communicates all that information. All right? So, so. Spirits of the waters are the spirits then that operate, that releases sexual immorality. They are releasing divorces in relationships. They break also the platonic relationships. They are always after relationship and they target mostly the relationship that we are expected to have with the Holy Spirit relationship with Jesus Christ all right so they are there then to take away that relationship so the water spirits then are producing manufacturing this cell phone so as not to only take away your time but also to make to give you information that will lead to divisions and also the separation separation news being separated from the Holy Spirit, all right, who is here as our teacher. Now you have this cell phone now is replacing the role of the Holy Spirit, is replacing the time that you are supposed to be to be to be spending with the Holy Spirit because now you have this cell phone. And one will be saying that no, 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 I'm getting that. I'm a, you know, I'm just gonna be taking my cell phone so that I, I, I read the word of God from it, you know. I'm not saying to you that stop doing that but from my experience it will be the moment that I take a cell phone and say that let me read this word and I'm about I'm, I'm, I'm in my closet all right and this is what I have found is that you'll be there then you'll be seeing oh there's a message that is coming in and then who oh, what's that message okay okay let me quickly read that and then, and then and then I'm gonna come back but you are already diverted so Join the old club, and the old club is using the, is using this, using the Bible, this, 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 using this, using this. It's the old, the old, the old, the old club. 
or using the but we page 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 and 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 all that and and there's 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 no whatsapp on my bible there's no youtube on my bible so i'm focusing on the holy spirit and he's there i'm hearing his word he's teaching me all right so do that when you are in your closet all right it's my advice it's my advice all right so it might be the old school advice but it is an advice all right so now now let's get then to um let's get to okay now how do i how do i dedicate myself from to the lord all right so the first thing then before you can even open the covering it is very important that you start doing your prayer at that time all right and you start first by repenting whenever you are starting a prayer make it a practice to start by repenting so you are repenting you are repenting for the transgressions that are in your life you are repenting for the iniquities that are in your life. You are repenting for anything that you allowed to harm your soul and taken away your peace, all right? Because the Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 53, verse 5, it says that Jesus Christ was wounded for our transgressions and also he was bruised for our iniquities, all right? So two, I need them to repent for the iniquities. And then thirdly, the chastisement of our peace was upon him so peace is important if i have to do anything so i needed to ask then the spirit of the living god to bless me with that healing faith that comfort okay so that then i'm able then to draw from the peace of christ all right so that i'm able then to have an effective prayer when i'm praying okay so then um so that is why david before david would get into a serious business of prayer then he will start by asking then the holy spirit to to heal his soul all right and say that oh, bless me with with a clean heart all right it's all about those iniquities all right because anything that you harbor in your heart you harbor in your mind and anything that is in your bloodline those are the iniquities that you need to repent for because the iniquities are the sins that are also in your bloodline things that you have not done but then you have inherited by being part of your bloodline all right so then so those are the things that you need to repent for so first repent all right and then the second thing now after you have prayed is very important after you have made your prayer of repentance and then you move to the covenants all right very important that you break the covenants all right because you cannot fight anything that you have an agreement with all right and the bible also says that it is not right of us to drink to drink from the cup of god and also from the cup of the enemy and to eat from the table of god and also from the table of the enemy so meaning that two covenants that a conflicting cannot coexist all right the covenant of light it cannot coexist with the covenant of darkness so then when i need god on my side i need to renounce denounce any covenant that i might have been deceived to enter into with the kingdom of darkness because satan deceives us so there's no one here who wakes up and says that this morning I'm going to be covenanting with Satan, all right? Unless you are the agent of Satan. I'm talking about people of God, all right? So now, covenants, the first covenant that I need to get rid of is the covenant with the ancestral spirits. Because the ancestral spirits then are the ones that are the data sources, all right? Powerful data sources. Because they gather everything about, they have the institutional memory of the bloodline. 
all right so they gather everything that is about the bloodline the weaknesses of the bloodline the sins that are in the bloodline and and and, and also about you as well your weaknesses your strengths and 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 so on all right they even gather even the things that you like you like this and that and so on and this is the time that you go and pray this is the time that you you go to work they check you all your root and they collect it the ancestral spirit so you need them to break the covenant with the ancestral spirits all right because a cell phone is about data all right is about information all right so the next then when you talk about the information the monitoring spirits all right so then i need then to break the covenant with the agent of satan who is using the monitoring spirits against me who has implanted the guardian spirit into into my house or wherever that you are at your workplace and so on or the following spirits assigned the following spirits into your life all right and and, and that agent who's using the cameras because they come to your house in the four corners you know the ceiling top ceiling they put the cameras there all right the witches do that hey <laughs> Of the 21st century, they come to your house and put the cameras in the four corners of your bedroom. So you need them to smash, smash, smash those cameras with a hammer in Jesus' name. So then that agent who has, who's gathering, who's monitoring you, all right, because it's monitoring you to get the information as to what you are doing right now and so on. Oh, she's about to read the word. All right, let me cause so-and-so to call, to call her. What is being used is the cell phone. So it's important that this cell phone I dedicate it to the Lord, all right? So and so I must break the covenant with any agent who is monitoring me, who's using the binoculars, who's using the monitor of the laptop and so on, all right? Who's using the screen of the TV. As you are sitting there, you are watching TV, they are monitoring you, your TV is on. So that's why I tell people that it's not right for you to go to bed with your TV on, all right? So, because more so, at night, then you see that the, the, what they show on TV is, is, uh, is, is the horror movies and so on that are emitting spirits into your house as you are asleep. So you find yourself that you've got bad dreams is because of, of the spirits, spirits that infiltrated your, your, your private space, all right? Using what? using your television set all right so we must be careful then of that technology that satan uses so it's very important then that you break the covenant with that agent because if you don't break the covenant you're gonna say that i'm crushing this mirror i'm crushing this it's gonna bring another one why is because already has the covenant with you and is able then to connect to you because a covenant is a point it creates a point of connection is a point of agreement it says that the two of us again yeah, we do agree so how can i agree with the witch in jesus name as get away in the mighty name of jesus so then the other thing now I'm, i've dealt now with information all right so now i'm moving then to the spirits now of the air break the covenant you know renounce the covenant with the spirits of the air in jesus name and also renounce then this the, the covenant with the spirits of the light that satan is using all right you find that in their altars all right they will put on the light of the candles so that light, it is the light of wickedness that they are using, all right? So I need, as before I dedicate my phone to the Lord, I need to blow off that light, the light of the candles that is in their altars, all right? So then, then you move on then to the spirits of the waters, 
denounce it, denounce it, denounce it, the covenant with the spirits of the waters. When I'm saying the waters, I'm covering all kinds of waters. I'm covering humidity. I'm covering, I'm covering um, the rivers. I'm covering the, 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 the fountains. I'm covering the seas, the oceans, and so on. So, the marine kingdom, I'm denouncing the covenant with the marine kingdom where these cell phones are manufactured so that then I don't want you to get into my phone in Jesus' name, all right? So, so I'm denouncing the covenant with the manufacturer of this phone. Any evil manufacturer of this phone, I denounce the covenant with you in Jesus' name, all right? Then, then that takes me then to the third thing that I need to do after I have broken the covenant now. So now, then I open the box, all right? open the box then um, the other thing that you need to do then is to take the four corners of your house all right and say that in the mighty name of jesus right now in jesus name i take control of the four corners of this house i pray then to the king of glory to come in in jesus name let the air that is in my house be saturated by fire be saturated by the blood of jesus christ all right then i get to myself then i cover myself with the powerful blood of the lamb in jesus name or you may put on the, on the wall armor of god and how do you put the armor of god the helmet of salvation so you announce in the spiritual realm that i am born again in jesus name and my salvation is a weapon i'm using it as a weapon against you against all the forces of darkness that are coming against this prayer that i'm about to make that are coming against the success of this prayer in jesus name and then you put uh, the breastplate of righteousness and say that in the mighty name of jesus i'm sanctified by the powerful blood of the Lamb. The blood of Jesus Christ has washed me clean and right now I am of the righteousness of the Lord in Jesus' name. I serve the God of righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus and my righteousness is the weapon against you Satan. You cannot touch me with this righteousness in the name of Jesus and then you go and say that I'm holding on the shield of faith in Jesus' name to block away the fiery darts of the enemy and you say that in Jesus every word that, that, that God speaks I believe I believe in Jesus Christ alright and your faith is the weapon against the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus put on the belt of truth all around you and say that in the name of Jesus this truth that is in me is a weapon against you, the father of lies, against all the lies and the deception of Satan in Jesus' name. I'm coming then with covered and, and, and having the belt of truth all around me. And I'm saying it in the spiritual realm that my Jesus, who is my Lord and my Savior, he is the way, he is the truth, and he's also the life in Jesus' name. So I am protected by truth in the mighty name of Jesus. Out of my mouth, as I am about to make this prayer, out of my mouth comes the sword of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. And this word will penetrate the heart of every demon that stands against this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. And then you say that then, and then on your feet is the gospel of peace. Then I am covered with the whole armor of God. I'm covered with the whole armor of God in the name of Jesus, all right? Then let's go to the fourth step. So fourth step now, take your box of the cell phone, you open it, and then the enemy will put, you put the evil marks on the gadget. And you will be saying that hi is the logo, yes, is the identity and so on. All right. Or we'll, we'll put the barcode on the item. So then, then the first thing that I need to do then, 
are need then to erase every evil mark that is on the gadget all right i remove it with the powerful blood of the lamb and i take it i say in jesus name right now as i'm holding you in the mighty name of jesus let the blood go straight to the foundations of this mark in jesus name and uproot all the incantations and all the writings that are in this evil mark in Jesus' name. I say in the name of Jesus, let your roots be dismantled in Jesus' name. I remove you completely with the blood of Jesus Christ. I uproot you completely with the blood of Jesus Christ. Every every assignment that you are carrying so as to to release it to me in the mighty name of Jesus. Now I silence it with the blood of the Lamb. I silence it with the blood of Jesus. So you need then to remove the evil marks that are on the gadget. And you also say that because some of the evil marks are inside the machine or the device itself. So release the blood inside in Jesus' name. Release the blood. It must go straight to the microprocessor of the gadget and all of that and say, in the name of Jesus, I release the blood of Jesus to remove every evil mark of the manufacturer that is in here in Jesus' name, all right? Then, after you are done with that, then, then you need then to go straight then to the dedications that have been made because sometimes before then they can take these gadgets and, and place them on the shelves, then they will they will, they will release spells into them, all right? Spells into them so that then, and this spell will be the spell that says that uh, when you are holding it, you can't put it down, all right? It's those evil utterances that say that then it must take up your time, all right? It must take up your finances as well, that then now you are working for data, we are working for data. And, and even if we don't have bread, but but if you don't even have food in your cupboards and so on, as long as you've got data, then you are sorted out, all right? And your children are suffering because you are you are so in bondage, all right? And, and it is this gadget that has done that, the spells that have been released to steal your time, all right? So then you need them. In the mighty name of Jesus and speak over it and say that in the name of Jesus, every spell that has been released on this cell phone, together with this assignment, I say in Jesus' name, every projection that has been made into this cell phone, in Jesus' name, I send it back. It must go back to the sender. One is going to say that I might write these things, I might not sending bad things into the sender. Where is it coming from? I want you, I'm going to be reading for you, yes, the scripture that I love so much, Isaiah 37. But now I'm just going to get to verse 33. And here, this is, um, this is King Ezekiel. King Ezekiel it was attacked here. Yeah, the enemies were coming against him. And then he made a prayer, all right? The kings were ganging against him. And then he made a prayer to the Lord. And then, and listen to what the Lord said. The response of the Lord is on, it starts from verse 33. And where he says that, therefore, this is what the Lord says concerning the king of Assyria that was coming to attack uh, uh, King Ezekiel. Uh, King Ezekiel. Then he says that he will not enter this city or shoot an arrow here. He will not come before it with a shield. You see what the Lord says? So no projection will come here in the name of Jesus. And then listen to what then the Bible then says further. He says that or build a siege ramp against it. By the way that he came, he will return. I love that. By the way that he came, he will return. 
I'm using this version because it simplifies it, all right? So what it means that it must go back, go back, go back to the sender. Whatever projection that is coming from the manufacturer that is in the laboratory of or one of the laboratories that are under the waters, in the name of Jesus, that projection must go back to the sender. And I also want you then, Listen to the to the to the to the to the confession of this ex satanist that is in here, 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 here. The message is here, is here in this channel. You and listen to him when he talks about the projections. That when the projections come back, they have to duck very fast because you will fall down. It will hit you and you go down. All right. So, so people have been saying that, no, this thing of sending back, taking it back to the sender, it is not scriptural. It is. And this is not the only scripture that talks about that. All right. It's not the only scripture, but I like it in this one. It says, it, it, it was, listen, it, it's, it was not Ezekiel was saying this. It was God himself. And he said that by the way that he came, he will return. All right. So by the way that that projection came must return in the name of Jesus. So all those spells must go in Jesus name that are sent to waste your time and waste your money. When you want to pray, you are busy with your cell phone. And now those spells will not work against you in Jesus name. All right. Then after that, then, then you take your cell phone. Then you soak all of it in the blood. You say that in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm soaking this cell phone in the blood. I'm soaking you in the blood. I'm sanctifying you with the powerful blood of the Lamb. Let the blood sanctify you in Jesus' name. Let everything that is in here, in the name of Jesus, that is wicked, that is a spirit, in Jesus' name, I'm soaking it in the powerful blood of the Lamb. In Jesus' name, I soak the screen with the blood. I soak everything, everything that is in this cell phone with the powerful blood of the Lamb. In Jesus' name, when you are doing that, you are cleansing your cell phone all right you are cleansing it it doesn't matter what is it that is wicked but it has to get over because the powerful blood of jesus christ washes whiter than the snow that's what the bible says in psalm 51 it says that it washes whiter than the snow so everything that means wicked it must go away the blood there is nothing that can resist the powerful blood of the lamb this is the blood that defeated satan on the cross I like reminding Satan about that. Take, take this advice. Remind him when you are praying and say that in the name of a defeated. It doesn't matter if you are dealing with the age and say, hey, 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 hey. This blood defeated your master on the cross. Don't mess up with me. It defeated your master on the cross. In Jesus' name, because the blood of Jesus Christ it carries the DNA of Jesus Christ, which is his power. And if you want a teaching about the blood, you can get it here on this channel. So go down and check that message. And now, after we have soaked it now, make a decree and say that in Jesus' name, I enter now into the office of the king and I proclaim in Jesus' name that you are set free from all the evil bondages in the mighty name of Jesus. The assignment that you were sent to do to me is nullified and, and uprooted by the powerful blood of the Lamb in Jesus' name. Now I decree that you are holy. I decree that you are holy. You are sanctified by the powerful blood of the Lamb and made holy in Jesus' name. It's very powerful that you make that declaration. You know, sometimes people will say that, no, I pray, I pray in my heart. All right. So there's power in the time. I know that sometimes, you know, it, I mean, it happens. It happens a lot. When you are in a situation and you look at it and you pray and you connect with it, with the prayer, but it's inside of the prayer and you see the results, all right? It does happen. But when you are the king, proclaim, hey, 
proclaim. Open your mouth, man, and proclaim in Jesus' name. And also within this prayer, proclaim in the mighty name of Jesus. And proclaim yourself only that it is holy in Jesus' name. And now you go then to the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 7, verse 14, all right? That is the response of God when God was responding to King, uh, to King Solomon. When King Solomon was dedicating the first temple to the Lord, the Lord responded and said that, now that you are giving it to me, this temple, listen, what is going to happen, all right? Mentions four things. Go and read. He said that, now that you have given it to me, all right, you are doing now the prayer of dedication. You say that, Lord, I dedicate this cell phone to you, all right? As I dedicate it to you, let these four things happen, all right? One, let it be called by your name. When you say that be called by your name, you are putting the mark of God in it, the name of God. As you have removed the mark of the enemy, now is going to be called by God's name. So the name of God will be on this cell phone. All right. Then secondly, what God said was, was that now, now that you have dedicated to me this temple, he said that your, your prayers will be heard by me sitting on my throne. All right. So meaning that anything that we have dedicated to the Lord, prayer that we are making for whatever that we have dedicated to the Lord, the Lord is able to get it. Why? It carries the mark of God. All right. So then and any, when they say the name of Jesus Christ, it carries his identity. Okay. So now, so he says that I will share it sitting on my throne. All right. So every prayer, when I'm praying about uh, praying for my cell phone and make it, that prayer is the prayer that is heard by my God, all right? Then thirdly, say that my eyes of protection will be upon it. Who does not want your cell phone to be protected by God? So my cell phone must be protected by God. There must be no information that is wicked that comes into my phone, all right? There must be no information that is good, that is, that is blocked from entering my phone, all right? So because the enemy, the cell phone is about that communication. Information flows in and flows out, all right? So there must be no messages that come into my phone that will hurt my spirit man that will that will be evil food for my soul all right that will make me to do things that are wrong with my physical body or with my mouth and so on all right so then when god's eyes are protecting that cell phone is controlling the information is controlling the word that Everything that is in your phone is something that is according to the word of God. There is no one who will send you information that will hurt you. It block those messages that hurt us, all right? So it will be that because you have dedicated your cell phone to the Lord, all right? And his eyes of protection are upon it. When say eyes of protection are controlling the information, all right? And then, and the last thing now, what he says that my love will be in it. So the love of God will be in this cell phone. The love will be in this phone. God is love. Love will be in this cell phone. And then you ask the Lord then that, Lord, I pray that my cell phone be registered in the book of dedication that you are keeping and the Lord will dedicate, will, will register your phone in the book of dedication. So your phone will be protected by the Lord. Then after that, you take your phone, you bless it and say, in the name of Jesus, I'm blessing you with long life. I'm blessing you with long life in Jesus' name, all right? I'm blessing you with peace in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm blessing you with the light of God in Jesus' name. I command the morning to go to the four corners of the cell phone in Jesus' name. And that light will constantly be uprooting all wickedness in the mighty name of Jesus. And that you will get it then from the book of Job chapter 
38. Yeah, it's chapter 38, I think, from verse from verse 12, where the Lord is saying that, have you commanded the morning to go to the four corners and shake out all wickedness? Amen. So the light of God will rest on your phone in the mighty name of Jesus. Did you receive anything? I believe so that you received something. So now go ahead after you have listened to this message and follow all the steps and dedicate your phone in Jesus' name to the Lord. Amen and amen. Now, do not forget after you've listened to this message, because everybody, many people actually, have got cell phones, all right? So please don't be selfish. I'm asking you not to be selfish and keep this information to yourself, all right? Send this information also to your children who are busy on their cell phones 24 7 they are busy they are not studying their books is netflix on the phone it is this is social media and so on send them this message so that they begin or have ever some kind of a meeting family meeting where you put all your cell phones there and make this prayer and dedicate all your cell phones to the lord and this is also very important between the spouses because right now we are experiencing a lot of divorces and the reason is because people, they are spending time on their cell phones and ignoring their partners. And the cell phones, they carry this information that makes other spouses, when the phone rings, they are exiting, getting outside if it is raining, all right, to answer the cell phone. So then, yeah, if they, if there's something that is going on right there. So then you can just take your spouse and say that, let's, let's dedicate our cell phone sweet out to the Lord, all right? And when you are doing that, you know what you are doing. You are canceling all evil waves from entering uh, your, your marriage, all right? And all of that so that then the Lord then becomes the protector of your cell phone. Do not forget then to share this message and also to like our message all right you see to like the message i mean it doesn't even take you a, a second it's like like oh, it's done it's just by liking the message all right because it blessed you okay and then also then to also to 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 hit the bell so that you get all other messages that we are uploading in this in this channel so right now this is apostle praise all right and i'm sealing this message with the powerful blood of the lamb may this weight fall on the good soil so that you harvest good fruit from it in jesus name as is intended by the word of the lord and according to the word of god in jesus name I pray, I seal it with the blood of Jesus. I put on the seal of the blood over this message. In Jesus' name, I pray. This is Apostle Praise signing off. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. See you next time.